What's up everybody and welcome to the first of hopefully many uh, helicopter flight training vlogs. Today is day one. It's very exciting. I'm probably a little nervous. Uh, it's the first time I've done uh, started a brand new type of flying since I guess I got my private pilot's license or maybe pilot training but uh, super excited uh, starting out at Lakefront Airport here you can see uh, that's the uh, terminal that's the FBO gonna be flying in a Robinson R22 and uh, hopefully starting training today I mean it's today will be uh, flight one and hopefully there'll be more so I'm looking forward to sharing with you uh, the process and I'm gonna try to do uh, flight vlogs every time I come out here uh, so if I do two flights in a day that'll be one vlog or whatever and share you know the the highs and the lows and you know the mistakes and the good things and the bad things because you know I'm I'm not gonna think I know everything. I know that fixed wing flying doesn't really translate to this, so I'm walking into this with an open mind and a willingness to learn and trying to do it the uh, right and safe way. So hopefully you'll enjoy it and uh, we'll have a good time with it. So um, let's get started. Three, two, one, fight off. It's where the Green Lantern was filmed. I'm here with uh, Lester, who will be my flight instructor, CFI, experienced mm -hmm. helicopter pilot. How you doing? Yep. <laughs> Good. What are we flying? It's a Robinson R22 Beta 2. Uh, I'm not sure the year this has. It's uh, got many hours on it, trained a lot of people over the last uh, 12 years. I think we got it in 2008. And um, it's actually coming to do an overhaul in a couple hundred hours for a second overhaul. It's a very good trainer. Uh, like I said, if you can fly this thing, you can pretty much fly almost almost any medium-sized helicopter because just the way it navigates, they all fly the same. It's a pretty color. Mm -hmm. I like the blue. Okay. It's a basic trainer. You don't have a lot of instruments on it, as you can see. Yeah. Just everything that's needed uh, for flight training. And you can go cross-country with it. Uh, I've seen people do them. This long flight, and it's pretty quick too. It'll hit 90 knots. Wow. And uh, most of your jet rangers stop out at about 110, 105, 110. Jeez. Like the OH 58s, you know, that's pretty much all you're going to get out of them. So, uh, but that, that's full power. Uh, it's weight limited. We don't use much fuel. Two people in cabin, you get about an hour, maybe an hour and a half uh, uh, with two decent sized people in the cabin itself. That's all my bladder can do anyway. Yeah, that's one good <laughs> thing about it. <laughs> Well, we did the ground school. We sat down and talked for an hour. I didn't film that, but we're today we're now we're going to look at the helicopter and go for the first flight. done walk around is done two things on a checklist that we knock out first i just showed you is the fuel valve is on and the circuit breakers are all in your headsets can go on your head but not over your ears you have to listen for any unusual activity when we crank up as you can see it's a little snuggly yeah. I don't know about a 38, but... It's like when I got my private, I was in a 152 with a guy who was six foot two. All right. Cyclic. Yep. Collective. Mm -hmm. Any torque pedals. Okay. Let's see, I'm not sure where it's at. Either over there. Yeah. Right here. 
checklist all right all right before starting engine hobbs record time we already it's from last time when i flew it okay seat belts fasten okay fuel shut off valve on all right shoot that's right behind me we've already done that okay uh cyclic collective friction off all right the cyclic is right here it's a little worn it's a little counterclockwise knob okay okay all the way off and the collective friction collective friction is a little slide folder just slide it forward forward okay so, okay now you can grab i'll hold this for a second all right put your feet on the pedals okay now rotate all the way around make sure nothing's in the way nothing feels Real easy going. It's all mechanical linkage. Okay. All right. In the middle, then go ahead and tighten. To just tight. Yeah. Okay. This has to be kind of guarded, so just kind of hold, leave it right there for time. Then. Okay. All right. Collective. What I do now, because it's car rated, I grab it. I pull it into detent. You'll feel the throttle. Go all the way back. And then pull up. Just make sure nothing's in the way. That's why I told you about your pockets. Yep. All the way down. And then one twist of the throttle, and that's it. Okay. okay, then you can slide your hand back and then put the uh, lock back on. All the way, just all the way back? Or? Yeah, just push it back. Okay. And that's the friction. Okay? All right. All right, let's see what we have. Okay, we did throttle, collective, cyclic, neutral, pedals. Work the pedals, make sure nothing's binding. Nope, nothing's in the way, nothing's behind him, nothing's underneath him, anything like that, then neutral. A lot of times I'll go right in the middle. That okay. way we know when we crank it up, we don't have to worry about it. Okay. So we break again. We already checked that the gutter is right here. Okay. On and off. Okay. I, off is I, up. I use it off that way we don't have an overspeed uh, yep. because it's already halfway on. All right. Altimeter set the fuel elevation, which is going to be zero. Switches and avionics are off except strobe light. We always leave on. Okay. Clutch is disengaged. That's engaged. That's disengaged. Okay. All right. The mixture is going to be full rich. We're all the way down. And you grab that little bit of piece of plastic, put it right on top of it. Okay. That is a safety feature that some guy made a fortune with <laughs> because this is the carb heat right here. Yeah. Maybe with carb heat? Oh, because, yeah. You and there's people going, well, I need some carb heat, and they grab Ooh. it. And that actually stops them from pulling the mixture because gotcha. that'll kill the engine. And the carb heat's right here. Okay. Okay. All right, mixture guard is installed. The carb heat is depressed. Rotor brake is disengaged. That's that right there. Okay. Okay. There's a map light right here. You turn it off right there. Okay. You know, for night flying. All right, the master switch and strobes on. Okay. Strobes on. All right, the arrow is going to be clear. You're going to twist the throttle for priming. We've already done that. All right, and make sure the throttle is closed. It's all the way back. You can feel it. Put your hand on it. That, that's, and try to go to, yeah, yeah. Th this way. All right, that's closed. This is called detent. It's spring loaded. See? Uh -huh. All right, that's full open. That's full closed. And okay. then detent. All right. We're going to run through everything and all. We're not going to do each one. Okay. All right. Initial switch, we're going to go start. As soon as we do that, we're going to engage the clutch by pushing it forward and make sure all pressure comes up. Okay. That tells you the health of the engine. Okay. Our power's on. Strobes are on. Mixture's full rich. Clear. Grab the throttle. Switch up. Throttle. All right. Keep this yep. roughly. You don't have to hold it, but you don't want it sagging because that means that it'll sag. So just kind of keep it like right there. Okay. Reach on over, go ahead and click on it, crank over to start, release when it starts. So you just go flip flop. North operation R0800 to 1600 local until further notice. Read back all hold your instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information to Sierra. Sierra. All right, I'll let it sun. All right, clutch light, one lights are out. All right, increased throttle to 75%. This side, the left side, the right side of your rotors, the engine's on the left side. Okay, so roll it up nice and easy. About 75%. I keep wanting to hold the brakes, but that won't work here. All right, roll it down a little. 
It'll take off on its own at 80%. That's why I have the governor off, so you roll it down a little bit right about there. All right, once it's stabilized, hold on to your throttle. Grab. Back. Release this. It's not going to go anywhere, but you don't want it flopping back. The vibration will push it forward. You can feel it. Yeah. All right, so you try to center it. Go ahead and grab your uh, mags. I go two on the first one, all the way to the right. One, two. All right, you got to drop. All right, put it back together. Both. All right, running 75. Go one. Drop. Back to both. All right, from here, grab the uh, uh, car piece. And you can watch this gauge right here, it'll climb. Sierra Hold it up. If it starts to move, that's all you're looking for. That's it. All right, push it down. Okay, the next thing we want to do, uh, car P check. Uh, roll it up on the throttle, about 80%, then you chop it down. Go. See the needle split? Yep. That means the clutch engaged. Okay. So that way, if the engine dies, the rotor system will still turn. All right, back up to 75%. All right. So limit torque. All right, then our frictions and our governor are coming off. Then we're going to raise the throttle and do one more check. And at 97%, the rotor horn should come off, and that should be it. So we're pretty much done. So do we turn the governor on or off? You can turn the governor on now. Okay. It won't do anything just yet. I know I'm going to enter Turn on this GPS just to make sure. You familiar with the uh, comp panels? Yeah. We'll stay on comp one, but you know you can go to comp two and then change it up and things like that. Yep. That's pretty much all we need. Okay, one more check. All right, the governor's off. I'll be holding oh, it's, it's on. I, I flipped it on. Five, zero, four. Right, the governor is correct. It's on. Very, very sensitive. Very easy to move, okay? Kay. I literally fly this thing with three pins. Okay, like this. You don't grab it. Like this. Right. Don't give it death grip. Yeah. I'm sure you did that when you first started flying. <laughs> okay, that's going to go out in a second. All right, grab your throttle and you ease it up to 80% and it, you'll feel the governor take it off. Just hold it light in your hand. Oh, wow, yeah. And it goes up to the green. Yeah. All right, now, you can actually manually over override it. All right, grab it. We're going to roll it down to about 97% right here on the rotor side, okay? So we roll it down and ease up. Well, not too much, not too much. I just want to show you what's going to happen and why. Right about there, we're going to roll, pull a, a little bit of collective up until you hear the horn go off. All right. Yeah. And then you release it and it goes back. The reason why it's like on a checklist because it's supposed to come on once you hit 97% rotor RPMs. Gotcha. It says, hey, 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 you had a problem. Don't do that, yeah. Right, yeah, right. just drop the collective a little bit or grab a little more throttle, whatever the problem is. It's not something that happens on a regular basis. Yeah. You know, you rarely hear it. That's why you just do the check on it. Anytime at idle, if you pull this collective up, it'll pop. I mean, it, it'll go on. All right, everything's done. All right. From here on out, be very light on the controls with me, including the, the pedals. Okay. Can you dance? No. Not at all? <laughs> no. Okay. Have you ever danced? Yeah. All right. This is going to be a soft shoe maneuver. Okay. All of them, not a tap dance. Gotcha. You're not standing or holding on the pedals. When you do pedal turns, when you do hover work, light toes. Okay. Light toes on the pedals at all times. It's a big of a soft shoe dance. I'm serious. Okay. 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 All right, we're gonna turn this up. Right down. Are right, you want me on the controls with you? Yep. It's real light. You want me to go You can make it right down departure for the four zero. Right down wind departure to the four zero. Okay. I got acronyms. Whatever you want to use is up to you. I'm flying turbine. That's why I call it top of T. Three Gs. Yep. Top of T in the top of rotor. I call it top of turbine. Warning, caution lights are out. I already know about the carbon monoxide. Enough fuel for a specific amount of time. I think it's about two and a half hours ship. We got about half tanks right now. So you're good for at least an hour, say hour 15. Okay. Okay? And also you glance at car feet. Make sure you don't have any problem with that, which today we should. Okay. We're good? We're good. So it's like 3G's top of T, WC's are out. Fuel's good for hour 15. Car's good. Clear left, clear forward, clear right. Clear right. We're not have anybody around us. We're going to go right out to Echo. We'll start some pattern work, okay? Okay. And I think we got a helicopter 178 T gangers with Sierra. I'd like to pack air taxi over to Echo and we'll join the pattern shortly. Hey, Sierra Hotel, Roger. You can reposition the tag to Echo. Are you looking as you approach us to Echo or to the runway? I'll stay at Echo. I'll be out your way. Hey, Sierra Hotel, Roger. Okay, grab all three controls. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, like I said, clutch is going to cycle on and off. It just tightens the belts as they loosen up. Okay. All right? And um, we're going to pull up. It's a two-stage pull-up. You're going to get light on the skids, and you're going to go ahead and actually become airborne. At that instant, 
that split second, you determine if I'm going to keep up to the hover or if I'm going to put it back down because something's not right. Okay. So that's that quick. All right, so we come up. And with both of us in there, probably won't hover till about maybe 19, 21 inches of manifold pressure. But stop right there, look out. Uh, let's see, we got a plane, we got uh, the bridge, and we got the big white tanks. Pick one for me right now. Uh, the bridge. Okay, the bridge. Look at the bridge, big old bridge, and you start coming up. If you look down, you're going to do like this. If you look out, total difference. Okay. Okay? So we're going to keep coming up. When something gets light, make a correction to keep everything straight. Now, I'm not looking down, I'm looking at the bridge, okay? Okay. Roughly about there, should start coming up. And see, I'm turning a little bit, so I'm going to add a little bit of left pedal. Add a little bit more. Because as you're pulling more power, you need more pedal. Okay? Pull back on the side. Pull up a little bit more, pull back. Now I'm hovering. I'm airborne. You see, you're pulling a lot of power. It's hot. These things do not like summertime. Yep. And you can see the winds right about what? By 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, or whatever. Yep. I'm going to get over here. I'm going to get on over to Echo. The hardest thing to hover on is grass. And you can see, I've got to put a lot of power so I can get to the wind. And I'm going to turn it to where you'll see that power drop off real quick. Uh, one zero zero, so somewhere around this area. Now look at the piles. I dropped a couple of inches. Oh yeah. All right. And whatever it takes to hover is what you can fly this thing with. But right now, and actually we can do it less than that. Summertime, not easy. You know, depending on how much fuel you got, how much we weigh, things like that. And these Royal Robinson should only hover about maybe a foot to two foot off the ground. That's if we lose an engine, we won't damage the aircraft during a hovering auto rotation. And we just call up the mechanic, say, hey, something happened, come get it, and we'll fly it again. All uh, right. We're going to go ahead and make a pattern. We'll probably do left traffic right back to Echo, because you can see how long it is. Yeah. And uh, that's, it goes just long. I think it's like 4,000 feet, maybe more than that, and this is an old runway. All uh, right. Let's see what we got. Hey, let me tire. I look at Hotel on Echo. I'd like to go left traffic back to Echo. Let's go with you. Sierra Hotel, uh, taxiway echo, clear for takeoff, make left close traffic. Clear for takeoff, left close, H Hotel. All right. Now, we're in ground effect right now, which is probably on the bush. We don't want to outrun it. I'm going to go right down next to the left building, and I'm going to right over that landmass, and let's get going so we can reduce some of this power. Push forward until I hit effective translational lift. See, I'm not moving all at all. I'm pushing through that part, and Mother Nature's going to help out. You can feel it right about there. See, we're climbing. Yep. No more power being used. Now look at the climb. Still 22 and a half inches. And that's effective translation lift in between 12 and 24 knots. Now, let's see. We're going to go left traffic. All right. Keeping my power up. I'm just pushing forward real easy. And I'm going to use this whole land mass because right, I want airspeed. I want altitude. Right above your feet is where we would go down if we had an engine loss. Try to pull up a little more altitude, and we're going to have to take a small chance, and we're going to go over part of the lane. Right there, past the road. Flip it out here, sir. And we're going to use that same spot. Trying to go to the right a little bit. I'm going to start my descent, okay? I'm going to go parky. All right. I'm going to drop my collector. And we ain't going to make our spot. We're going to go right past it. Spot, keep it in sight. That's what we took off from. We're going to go to November, which is going to be the next one. All right. 70 knots, so we're going to pull back on our cycle to slow us down a little bit. As we drive the collector a little bit more, reduce our power. Flatten the blades out. We're starting our descent. Just over 300 foot rate of descent. We're going to slow down a little bit more. We can pull back some. I right, push forward a little bit more now. And I'm going to start pulling power because this thing drops like a rocket 200. Now that change in blade sound, is that... I just grabbing more blades. I got you. And then as I'm doing it, you can feel the pedals being moved. I'm pulling more power in. I'm adding more left pedal. Left uh, pedal, left pedal, left pedal. Yeah. Final left pedal. That's a little bit what's called LTE right there. Loss of carrot of effectiveness. You'll always get into it, just don't lose it. I got you. All right. And looking forward, 
I dropped the collective a little bit, and we're going to go touchdown as smooth as we can. All the way down. That was your first pattern. Alright? As you pull collective, it requires more power. As it requires more power, it spins faster or more torque. You need left pedal to counteract it, because the torque's pulling the nose to the right. Okay? The power is automatically being supplied by the, the governor. That little switch right there. Okay, so that's automatic. But it's collective. That pedal, you can see a lot of pedal movement and everything and all. That's why it's so important. And that's why we have a lot of pedal practice. Yep. All right. Winds route 100, we'll use this. We can go straight up, but it's not recommended. If you got the space, use the space. Yep. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit more of a run and take off this time. ATL Tower, I want to go. Left traffic. Uh, we can actually hover from here. Pick up the ATL Tower, thanks for Go clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff here. Sick up. Okay, we're going to pull up. Hey, Charlie Delta, where'd you say you're parking? Hey. Look at, uh, look at something out, trees, grass, whatever, doesn't matter, uh, just don't want to look down. That tree. Alright, that's fine. As you pull up, you get an idea, you'll feel it, you can even start seeing the skids kind of come in on you a little bit, that means it's getting right, so you had a little bit of right pedal this time. Left side click, so we don't want to slide. And there, you're up. Alright, 3G's top of T, WC's are out, fuel's good for about another hour, hour, 10 minutes, clear, clear, clear. Alright, our rule is supposed to do a little bit of pedal turn, 90 degrees. Cuts behind us, all right, so we're good, FAA rules, all right, then we're going to go forward. I'm not pulling any more power, but I'm easing forward. So I can get us started, then we're going to outrun ground effect, you can feel a little bit right there, ETO just kicked in, you felt it? Yeah, yep. That's just Mother Nature helping us out. All right, this is your attitude of a climb out, you see the power's dropped a little bit, that's good. You want to make sure we get over the trees, and if you're sure, but you don't have a lot of power, you pull back, pitch attitude up, and then push forward. Oh, uh, okay. There's two ways to climb. One's with cyclic, one's with collective. But like I say, we're high on power right now. All right, start your descent. You're going to drop your collective. You're going to add your right pedal a little bit. Drop your collective. And then make the turn right to the front of the tower. We're going to go right to Delta now. Move it out here, set down. Start turning. Pressure turn. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Alright, that's our spot. Right where we took off from, so you can start slowing us down a little bit. The actual airspeed is 60 knots, your short final is about 50 knots. Gonna pull a little bit of power to adjust. Alright, don't want much of ball anymore, now want a bunch of attitude. And you're headed. Quick glance at the sock. Actually, we're going to come in like that. You start to slow down, so push forward. We're going to pull more power in. Give you an idea what everything feels like. Push a little bit more forward. Trying to make it right to that square on the yellow. That's what we're shooting for. Ah, that doesn't work. Uh, you see how you're coming around like that on the nose? That's actually what they call loss of tear of effectiveness. Yep. And it just you're going to have to get used to how much pedal needs to be applied. I think you can feel it using a lot of left pedal because you're pulling a lot of power, but you're also hot. And you see how close you are to the red line. Remember I told you a soft shoe? Yep. Zero thing, Charlie Delta. Frequency change You'll feel it when we start doing pedal turn stuff. We're going to make one more trap around and we'll come out and try something else, okay? Eight two hotels on a go. Eight two hotel order. I was going to stay in a hover. All right, three G's top of the DWC's out, feels good. Clear, clear, clear. Ease forward. If I let go, you're gonna pull it to the right. Yeah, I'm just holding you back on that. All right. It feels a little squirrely. I got it, I'm on everything with it. LTL, the tech effective translation of lift, and they got LT, which is loss of tear road of effectiveness. You'll get them in, over time. Okay, 3 d stop the heat, WC's around, fuel's good for a thing, you can pull car heat up a little bit, make sure it just stays out of the yellow, that's all you gotta worry about. You can push it down now if you want. Is that a car heat or the... Yep, car heat, just push it down. Like I say, it's not too prevalent right now. Uh, drop your collective and everything and all. Hold everything just like it is, we're going for our same spot, right over there, okay? If you feel like you're coming in fast, just pull back on your sight, a little bit, not much. There's a wind sock, there's a wind sock. Kind of give you an idea about your wind, always. Because we don't have to worry about runways. Now lesson number 10, you see that square in the middle of the triangle? Yep. That's, what, that's what you're going to be landing on. Oh boy. 
Alright, push a little more forward, keep a little more airspeed up. Don't use this. Alright, case your hotel, taxi echo, clear for the option. Clear it out here, it's your hotel. Alright, start pulling your power in now, this is a turbine. Alright, pull your power in, because you don't want to pull the guts out of it on the bottom. Right. Alright, slow us down, pull back, hold it right there. That's your attitude, a nose up attitude, just like a flare. But you're going to... Pull, 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 pull power now, now, now. Pull, 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 pull. Left pedal, left pedal. See how much power I'm pulling on the bottom of this? Yeah. That, that, that LTE. Alright, a turbine would not like that at all. And neither will your boss. Because that, you'll over torque a turbine. Means go to the shop. $50,000, check it out. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's get it into the wind a little bit. A little bit more. I think about one, one, zero. Alright, about right now. Let's see what happens. Okay, same thing. You see the little silver car up there? Yep. All right, relax your feet, relax your left hand. Just hold it slightly. All right? And relax your arm on your on your thigh. Relax your arm on your thigh and hold your side. Keep the, the nose of the aircraft at the uh, silver car. Okay? Okay. Right. And if you move, pressure, I'm literally pressure moving. Like squeeze your hand and it'll turn. All right? And just keep it like that. If you move, undo it. Move, undo it, move, undo it. Just like on the IFR, you know, you roll it in, roll it out type of thing, but not even that much. Believe me, you'll be all over the place. Expect. Hour number three or four, it'll be a lot better. If you don't like the silver car, how about the white truck? The thing about it is, if you look here, you see what you're doing, you're going to be all over. Look out. Big one. How about November? See November? Yep. Every little gust of wind, you gotta realize we're, we're literally weightless, so every little gust of wind is gonna move you around. Right now we had eight knots, so technically, if we had eight knots of wind, our airspeed's eight knots, right. right? Even though we're ground speed zero. And in the Robinson, look down, glance down, you can see how high you are real quick, that's about how you wanna be, okay? If the nose kinda weather vanes, that's fine, you can hold this at a one, two, zero, it's not a problem. And then just pick out something other than right here, whether it be the planes, how about November Echo, you know, you just concentrate on that. And you just got to worry about what's called a dynamic roll. We don't want to get a skid hook up on one of those little reflectors or nothing like that. Obviously, we don't, don't want to hit. The run, if the taxiway works for you, just keep it straight down the taxiway, whatever works. And then eventually, it'll come into play no matter which way you turn. And eventually, you'll be able to hover with a crosswind, too. Not too shabby for you. Technically, your first sign-off lesson, right? Yep. After you got all the controls, is your right foot okay? It looks kind of crooked. It's crooked, but I, I don't want to. You'll have to take the aircraft for me to fix it. All right, I got it. Go ahead. You got Straight it. Up. Yeah. Whatever, whatever's comfortable for you. Yeah. That's all we can't adjust anything. They're not made for small people. Jimmy Graham had to fly in an R six R forty four. Okay. He's six foot six. I'm, I'm ready again. Okay. Let me get it settled down for you. Everything. Yeah, it was all crooked. Like I said, when that nose starts to move, jump on it quick. Because it'll take, it'll go real slow, 180 degrees, then it goes real fast after that. That's the wind just kind of moving you around. It's nothing I'm doing. I always thought my instructor was doing that to me. He goes, no, that's not me, that's you. I said, you're not moving this around? He goes, nope, you are. Oh, wow, uh, it wants to w w weather vane into the tailwind there. Or with the wind. A little bit more. And you try to keep away from anything because you're going to be all over. Like I say, no, you don't want to scare the hook up on the reflectors on those lights or anything. That's why we got all of this space right here. We can literally go in there if we want to or something like that. But just to get an idea of what it's like. And eventually you're going to go, aha, that aha moment, I got it. Roughly about hour number three or four. And it'll still be, if you can keep it within a rotor disc. You know, about 25, 30 feet over one spot, that's when you really start to come in play. The wind told us right here, that's fine. Focus, try not to focus on anything close. 
If you've been looking at that thing, believe you'll be all over. But if you're looking like November Echo right in front of us, or you've been one of the planes, or even the hangar, whatever it takes. How about the EC-135 out there? That's pretty good for one, one hour. Eventually you'll get the nose the way you want it in the state. <laughs> it's a little ugly. Actually, I mean, you're doing fantastic. Usually, literally, we are all over the place. How much time you got those other ones? Uh, 10 minutes. Just hover? Yeah. Yeah, they just let me hover for a couple minutes. Were you this good? Yeah, I mean, the, the OH-58 I was. Got more road, they got an L model, uh, L model rotor on that, so it's a big rotor, has a lot of inertia. This thing has no inertia at all. It's very, very low. I'll tell you what, one hour from where you're going right now, because usually everybody's all over the place because they overcorrect. That's why I say pressure, pressure. Relax your hand a little bit more to where you got your three or four fingers just touching it. Just remember it's just sensitive, that's all. But like I said, you know that T-38, you sneeze and you're going up a thousand foot a minute. Yeah. yeah. The only, the biggest problem I'm having is my right leg. It's just because I'm, I'm so awkward sitting right here because there's, you know, it's not a... Not a real stretch out type deal? Yeah. But it's nice because I'm actually using it to rest my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody says you actually rush the hand on it. That's the way it's made for. And yeah. you rest your, your, your forearm on your thigh and then you grab it. And like I said, either one of us can fly. I gotta fly with it up here because it goes in the student's lap. But you're doing excellent right now. Okay, my ship for a second? Your ship. All three? All? Okay. Let's see how far off you are. Ah, that's not too bad. About, about 100 yards. And that'll happen. Alright, there's a couple things we'll do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a couple maneuvers, then we'll make another pattern, and I'll, I'll let you give a shot at it. Okay. And all the controls are in effect. Let's say we take it off, we're gonna do the quick stop, okay? Okay. So I push out forward. As I push out forward, I'm actually adding a little bit of right pedal because I don't need as much power. Yep. And uh, little Johnny comes out with his first flight solo and he jumps in front of us. Okay. All right, so we're going to do a quick stop. All right, it's going to be down right aft, just like this. Uh, push forward, I'm adding left pedal, I'm pulling power. And and that's one of the maneuvers on the test. So far, we did about four of them. Okay? Just to get an idea of what it can do, what you should do. I, we started at 40 feet, and eventually I'll get you down to about 20, 25 feet. The biggest concern with this, you don't hit the tail on the ground when you do that. Let's put it on the spot. This is going to be a, uh, a steep approach, so we're going to slow us down, pull back, drop the collective go bit. Kind of slip over there, look at your wind sock. Let's try this for a little bit better. We're going to sneak on over, and we're going to come in at a little bit different angle. Oh, yeah. Cause See the wind sock? Yeah, because we're a crosswind. So now we're going to go right to our same spot. All right, pull a collective up. Cause, now this is a steep approach. There's three you got to work. Normal, shallow, deep. Push a little more forward because I, I know this machine. See that 200 right there? It drops a little bit faster. So I'm pulling my power right now. Okay. Get that pedal in. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Sometimes it, it doesn't always do that, but you got to be ready for it. So we're right over my little exit that I like. Right here, what we want to shoot for, all the way down, all the way down. That was a more of a steep approach. Now, problem with that, you can get to settling with power, but as long as we got the forward airspeed, because you're, you're going down more than a greater 300 foot rate of descent. Practice for 300, that's the ideal, or less. Boom, we're going to come around one more time, we're going to do a shallow approach this time. Okay. Almost going to look like an airplane landing. 80 on the go. 80 on the go. Okay. Go ahead, two stage pull up. And what is that, uh, Amazon van? <laughs> I said slow, yeah it's slow. As it moves, make an adjustment. So push forward, push left, right there. All right, right here. 3G stop repeat, deficits are up, feels good. All right, ease it forward. Do not overrun your ground effect, because then you'll touch. Not a problem if you want to do it. Uh, let's get a lot of altitude, your uh, life insurance, so let's get a lot of altitude while we, while we can. Hey, sir, I'll so clear for the altitude, taxiway. All right, clear for the altitude. You ain't gonna do this in a plan, I guarantee it. <laughs> uh, uh, getting a little bit lower, because we're gonna do a shallow approach to our same spot. So right about here, we'll stop. Push forward, and it's almost gonna be like a landing. 
or, or like an airplane landing. Matter of fact, we'll have to do a run on landing. That's part of your training also. And that, since you're an airplane guy, it's no problem. So keep your power in. We don't need to go any lower right here. We want a string, and we slide down the string. Okay, push, foot, push it forward, keep it going. How much power it's taking, and we give it a ground effect. This would be a shallow approach. Get that left pedal in. Right about. And here's our spot for hover. Left pedal. Hey, that's interesting why it's coming up like that. I, I think usually, it's I, because of those two buildings. Yeah, I usually don't use that much right here. I've been in and out of this spot a while. Alright. Go ahead and ease this down, look forward. The ground will find you. Try to keep it in one spot. You don't want to be sliding on the ground. So relax your pedals a little bit. Nothing's a, a bite dance coming down. You're gonna try to go down level and touch. Look forward. Look at the helicopter. Right now, both fine. Feel it all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. You gotta realize when you light on your skids, you can call what they call a dynamic rollover. Okay. Look right. Did we touch something? One of them, one of them, uh, Nope, nothing on this side. Okay, you see the little, uh, the reflectors? Yep. If we hook a skid, if we spot up against it, it could actually roll us. Okay. Especially if we're light, because we actually attain some lift, and the, uh, the machine will just keep going over. Alright, we're looking at about three or four minutes for at least the cool down. I suggest we go ahead and call this one. Okay. And then we'll take it after that. I think it did a lot of stuff with you. Eight zero tower, let's go back to the cameras. Eight zero tower, Roger. You can proceed as requested. And have a good day. You too. Tell you what, impressive for a one hour hold and everything as close as you did. That was pretty good. Oh, I'm, I'm glad it's a start. <laughs> yeah. Don't get frustrated. But in particular. <laughs> I see. Eh, you know, it's been, I don't know, nine months since we've seen this kind of heat and everything at all. Looking forward. Well, it'll be good to learn in the crappy weather. It'll crappy be, weather. It'll be, it'll be easier in the winter. That's it. You did good. Yeah. One down. 32 more to go. <laughs> Excuse me, oh, no. Oh! I've a lot of them. Usually fine with the doors off. All box two. Don't be a douche. Rule number one. I can tell you now.